Hey friends, this is Taylor with VanQuest, and today I'm gonna to talk to you about how I organize my photography gear. A lot of us here at VanQuest are photographers, and our background with photography has certainly bled into the designs of many of our packs. So today I'm gonna to break down the three main bags that I use, the Envoy, the Javelin, and the Trident for photography trips, and how easy it is to keep everything managed as well as easily accessible. The first pack that I use is more for a minimalist setup. This is the Envoy 13. It's a messenger style bag and it's great to hold your uh, camera with a lens and then maybe some accessories as well as some EDC gear. So for me, that's how I use it. It's a kind of a hybrid camera bag, but I'm also taking it for my normal day. So if we open the front here, it's got some basic EDC gear, pen, light, multi-tool. In the front pocket, I keep just a couple spare batteries for my camera. And then real quick, I'll do a, a shot of that interior main compartment. But what I'm usually carrying with me is a small little tripod here. And this is good for time lapses and stuff like that. Or maybe I do wanna get a portrait or something like that with me in it. Um, I can do that, sometimes long exposures as well. Um, and I'm also able to carry my little EDC tool pouch. This comes with me uh, pretty consistently on a lot of shoots. So I like to have this here. Um, and then of course, I can still throw my camera in on there. And now you get a better shot of the inside. I keep a small divider uh, in the pack so I can keep my camera protected and kind of in its own spot. And then my uh, pouch on the opposite side. And then in this pocket as well, I also keep a couple extra accessories. My memory card wallet, uh, my uh, lavalier microphone as well if I'm taking video. So for a very minimalist setup, if you're only gonna carry, you know, maybe just the camera and a lens, and you wanna have some of your accessories, some extra batteries, charger, but also still use it for kind of the day-to-day, -day, this is a great option. You also can still throw your laptop in the padded sleeve back here as well, or a tablet, anything like that. So if you edit on the go, you can still bring your camera as well as a way to view or edit or share those uh, pictures that you're taking. The bag is also completely padded, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, sometimes I will use a little case if I'm transferring stuff back and forth between bags, but because of this padded divider and the padded bag, I don't generally need to do that. So for your minimalist setup, uh, also if you like using a sling, I am a big fan of single shoulder bags. So I like carrying you know, a single strap like this for my uh, photo gear, especially if it's a smaller or more minimalist loadout. Um, that's really convenient. What you also get is quick access through the top here. So if you didn't wanna take the bag completely off or open the flap entirely, you can still access a lot of your gear through this top zippered opening on the flap as well. So that's my minimalist setup in the Envoy 13. All right, so if I wanna step up my gear a little bit more as far as space and the amount of stuff I'm carrying goes, I'll usually gravitate to the Javelin 18. Now I can manage my camera, plus an extra lens. I can throw a laptop in here and some other uh, photography related accessories pretty conveniently. Um, so what I like to do as far as when I'm going out shooting is the top admin pocket here. I kind of reserve for just some EDC items. So a light pen, a multi-tool, that usually lives up top here. Not so much photography specific, um, but these are just things I like to carry on the day to day. And then the front pocket here is more photography oriented. Now in this, I can carry my cleaning pen, the top pocket here. I can actually keep more cleaning supplies. And then I have, of course, my SD card wallet and then my pouch for my lavalier mic. So the bottom park, uh, pocket is what I use more for photography oriented things. The top pocket on the outside is gonna kind of be my general EDC. And then if we get to the main compartment here, you can see that again, I have primarily all photography based stuff in here with the exception of my pouch. So again, this little switch pod, I really like it. Um, it's really handy for doing, you know, time lapses, long exposures. If I just don't want to carry my camera, I very occasionally vlog. So this also gives me the ability to kind of hold that out like a selfie stick as well. Uh, pretty cool product. Uh, but it's nice and compact so I can throw it in with all my gear and of course <clears throat> my tool pouch that I always bring with me 
Um, that's just part of my normal EDC and that lives in the bag. There's two of these zippered tough mesh pockets, one on this side, one on the opposing side. And this is where, again, I keep kind of my spare batteries for my camera. And I'm using the included padded dividers here to create a space for my wide angle lens and one for oops, my camera as well. So you can fit a good amount of stuff in the Javelin. What I don't have in here right now, but you can also fit um, is a laptop. Again, there's a sleeve back here. So if you have a netbook or a tablet that you do a lot of editing on, you can still fit that in the Javelin. And I mentioned it when I was talking about the Envoy, I do really like slings. So the Javelin, uh, much like the Katara, if you're familiar, lets you remove one of the shoulder straps, uh, switch the position of it, and then you can carry it like a sling. So if you are still carrying kind of a minimalist setup, um, which in this case, I would consider it a smaller setup, just one camera and one extra lens, plus the kind of related accessories. It's not terribly heavy and I can uh, get by with using a single sling without sacrificing on the space for you know bringing more gear so I can take a lot of different photos that way. So that's everything I can keep in the Javelin 18. All right, so the last bag that I use, and this is one that I use when I'm carrying a lot more gear, is the Trident 32. So when I'm out doing you know, landscape photography, or if I'm taking, you know, like a week long trip and I want to bring more items with me, a larger bag is going to be necessary. And that's where the Trident 32 comes into play. Now it's very similar setup to the uh, Javelin 18 we just looked at. You have your two front admin pockets and then your main compartment. Uh, what you get with this is a really robust bag, has a padded waist belt. It is a backpack. This is not a a sling to backpack conversion. It's a dedicated backpack and at 32 liters you can pack a lot of stuff in here. Uh, but you still have those same two front pockets and I keep kind of the same idea of putting my EDC items in here. What I also carry is an extra light, um, a little light panel uh, in this top pocket. And then just like I had with the Javelin down below here, I keep some of my Crucial items, my SD cards, you know, my lens pen, and then a set of wipes, as well as my rocket blower. So the bottom pocket tends to be kind of my, you know, camera focused, a lot of cleaning and specific camera uh, items. And then this top pocket kind of remains an EDC aspect. Uh, one thing you'll notice too, is I have a big tripod on the side here. Uh, this is the water bottle pocket. And then what's nice about the Trident is it also comes with this elastic uh, retention piece here. So I put the bottom of my tripod in the bottle pocket and this holds it in place. So when I am traveling, I do like to bring a tripod with me, um, especially if I'm out doing landscape or anything like that. Um, having a pair of sticks or a set of sticks to put your camera on, keep it stable invaluable. It's a really great tool and being able to manage it all in the same bag as all my gear is super handy. <clears throat> and we'll do a quick side section here of all of that gear again. So I have my camera with a lens on it. I have a second camera with a lens on it. So now I have two bodies, not just one. Two lenses are attached, um, one to each. I have a couple extra uh, filters here as well. And then I have two more lenses that I'm bringing with me. So now I can bring, you know, multiple bodies, many more lenses. So I have a lot more options that I can work with. And of course, as always, I have my toolkit here <clears throat> in this zipper tough mesh pocket. Again, I had batteries on this side. Um, you could throw your chargers, cables, things like that. Um, what the Trident also offers, very similar to the Javelin, is a sleeve back here. So if you are a mobile editor and poster, you can also include all of that in the bag. You still have your pockets that you can segment out other gear as well. So when it comes to a larger uh, bag for, you know, a lot of gear, whether you're doing landscape, uh, you know, professional portraiture work, or you're just traveling, which is often what I'm doing when I load this bag out, you can carry a lot of different photography gear. And again, all the bags that we've talked about today, fully padded, 
You don't have to worry about banging it around, uh, things getting damaged. The, uh, this one and the Javelin come with padded dividers as well, so you can create those different uh, segments within the bag to manage your different gear, as well as keep it all protected. So this is kind of my go-to large bag as far as carrying more items for photography. So this is how the Envoy 13 looks on me. I also have the stabilizer strap connected as well. All right, so once again, about 5'7", and this is how the Javelin looks on me. All right, so I'm about 5'7", and this is what the Trident 32 looks like on me. This is the larger bag. This is what I'm gonna be carrying a lot more heavy items in. As you can see, no matter what you plan to shoot, whether it's a day trip for some photography on the streets, a landscape session, professional headshots, we have multiple packs that are designed to store any and all of your photography gear and accessories. Since 2011, VanQuest has built the toughest bags and packs for everyday carry to help you stay organized and prepared. Check out VanQuest.com for more details. We really appreciate you guys watching. So if you found this video helpful, consider liking and subscribing. And of course, comment down below if you have any questions. We'll see you next time. Thanks.